Sense ba kanina? Teammate talaga si oh, Melissa at si Mika, no? <laughs> Teammates talaga sila dalawa. Eh. So if you're a lady spiker, eventually you are going to cover a five-set five match. Setter. And so far, we have had three <laughs> five-set matches here in Season 99. Two from Mika, two with Mika, and one with uh, Melissa. Sana yung susunod ni Mika, hindi five sets, ha? Balita ko, ano daw eh. Break this in case. Okay, back to the ball game. <laughs> Zam Nolasco will start off this match. And Jade Hentapa will continue to come off the bench para kay Coach Jerry Yee. Yen Martin. And that right there is a good boost for confidence to score against one of the best blockers in the NCAA in Mitch Gamet. Well, Yen Martin as a fresh freshman has provided a lot of offensive uh, variability sa kanila. Maraming na itatakbo to kasi can play on both sides of the Tara Flex and matangkad kasi siya eh. So, nagbibigay siya ng uh, opportunity for them to play a taller lineup. Pascual, something light to start. Nitura. Mondoniedo was in position. Ngayon naman papalo si Estoque and she goes down the line. Ito hindi to light pag nagsa-start. Nakita natin on the warm-ups, we observed that she was the one leading the team in warm-ups. And she's an athlete. Talagang athletic tong si uh, Willin. The uh, mantra sa Benil this uh, start them young. Eh. So it's the young ones who are leading like Dorog as the team captain. And Estoque leading the warm-ups. It's nice to see Martin get going early here para sa Letran. Yeah. In their third game, she was the lady who started for them. And mataas din yung spiking percentage nito, above 30% if I'm not mistaken. Gamit with the response. Martin gets it in the air. Estrelier, Nitura. And that's going to be a point for Benil. Yup, tumama sa net on that pop-up. Nag-improve din si Estrella. Ang laki nang in-improve niya this season. Actually, the past two seasons, mas maganda na yung percentages niya. At nung mas naging focal point na siya na, siya yung magiging setter one nila. And I think if there is any player on the Letran side who really is enjoying and is learning from the Coach O effect, it's not Estrella as we setter see that hit eh. by Dorog. Yep. No, oh, parehas si setter. And I mean, you think about all the setters that played for Coach Oliver Almadro. They all became champions. Uh -huh. Ish, Ish. Ish Polvorosa, Dina Wong. So, Coach O, great mentor for setters. Yen Martin now will start this rally. Jump serve for the rookie. And an oh, ace. ace. Three quick points to start the game for Yen Martin. One of the things I wanted to look at also was the body language oh, of the Letran Lady Knights. I wanted to see if there was a little bit of nerves, nervousness knowing that they're facing a team that has not lost since season 94. Can you imagine the last time Benil tasted defeat in the NCAA? was January 29, 2019. Let's go. Wait, Let's go. Okay, Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Wow, this has got to be a first for the season. Benil, the first team to call a timeout in the match. Letran striking early. And once they get comfortable, things could be dangerous for Benil. Mondoniedo to Gamit. There you go. And now activating their biggest strength, which is their middle blockers. Si Mitch Gamit and si Sam Dolasco will. Na, naglalaro ng sabay. So, kahit na magkaroon ng rotation, meron talaga silang isang quick and explosive 
middle blocker and isang matangkad na power hitter naman sa gitna. So, different types of middle blockers. Oh, good hit. And Mitch Gamet arguably has been Benil's best player oh, this true, season so true. far. Our uh, power player for week one. And as I said, the two middle blockers imposing their will. Uh, I think uh, ito, ito yung biggest strength nila nitong season 99. Definitely, they have the size in terms of the middle blockers. Yung Seletran, it, it looks as if Yen Martin is also one of the middle blockers. They have the same height as we see Gia Makida. Height does not matter for her though because she's got the hops. Athlete. Athlete and magandang makita yung previous point na yun. Ha? Dahil nung pagpalo niya, it was a lot of wrist action. Dinala lang down the line and getting a point. Another underrated aspect also about Letran, in my opinion, are their middles also. We've talked about how they're not as tall as the Benildians, but quick. De La Cruz and the Desma have been solid. Side to side quickness nila, they are able to cover open opposite. Ang nagiging question mark lang is yung middle talaga. I mean, for most teams, yung middle talaga ang nagiging problema. Especially if you're not a tall team. And they have excellent timing also. De La Cruz and Nadesma. Dorog popped up by Martin. She was in great position. Here's Makila. Regalo para kay De La Cruz. Getigan was there. Mondoniedo binigay kay Dorog. De La Cruz with that blocking at the net. Great timing as I mentioned earlier. Estrelier back set to Netura. And this is going to be a free ball for Letran. Estrelier! Oh, good read. And Letran heads into this technical timeout with a three-point lead. Hannah Arguelles will have a report for us when we return right here on GTV. Good day, sports fans. This is Game On, the very first sports podcast of GMA. Brought to you by GMA Regional TV and Synergy and GMA Digilab. My name is Martin Avier. Half minute left. Shot clock is down to four. Manalini. Kaboom! Let's talk about anything and everything about sports. I am Coach Hammer Martin Antonio. The key to be a very good shooter, to be able to score, is repetition. Natin ang... At last time nga, na-mention ni Anton ang salitang nonchalant. Well, allow me to complete the dynamic. With the two head coaches competing in today's game, with their coaching styles on completely opposite sides of the spectrum. The nonchalant coach, Jerry E. And of course, OA, standing for Coach Oliver Almadro. For the Lady Blazers side, Coach Jerry doesn't want to make a big deal of their 33 match winning streak and is simply tunnel vision to a bigger goal for this season. Para naman kay Coach Oliver, he acknowledges na it sila nga ay talagang nasa rebuilding stage pa at talagang nakafocus siya na matatag ang resiliency at continuous evolving para sa kanyang team dahil nga daw sa NCAA hindi pwedeng pwede na you have to be better than your best sa usapang nonchalant at OA ano kaya ang mananahin? kayo ba Anton and Coach Hammer alin ba kayo sa dalawa? Okay yung Coach Hammer Martin Antonio yan na sasabihin ko to start e, things off ikaw maraming resibo na OA ka talaga <laughs> ikaw pa mismo ang nagpo-post ako uh, I am uh, unapologetically yeah. OA okay but you know seriously speaking this is a matchup between Nonchalant and OA exactly exactly Coach Jerry being on Team Nonchalant and obviously Coach Oliver Almadro his initials his name OA and he's proud about it. Yep. He's a coach that wears his heart on his sleeve. Exactly. He's, pa he's a passionate man. Yes. And that's how he fuels his squads. And each person is different. Yeah, each exactly. person has his own coaching philosophy mm -hmm. and personality. And they reflect that yes. the squad. Nila. Kaya nakikita mo pag naglaro, OA din maglaro tong <laughs> Letran. Talagang buhos. Hindi mo to makikita na parelax relax and on in contrast to that, yung mga Benil, they're like machines. Oh, makina tong Lady Blazers eh. Except when you talk to them over there in the back, because oh. they're they're very friendly and nice. Sinagawa ako pa siyempre ni Mitch Gamit kaniya na kiti plaku ng kape. Ayo relax. 
<laughs> Ginawa kang punching bag kasi sinabi mo na open spike oh, night hindi nito siya. Explain naman niya. Kasi nung the game that I covered, meron silang package siya, pinapapalo siya sa 4. Si Cloan ang nag-explain sa akin. Sabi ko, eh, nakita ko, ginagamit mo na uh, utility. Yun pala yung package sila on that game. Samantala, Gia Makilam over the blockers. This young lady is crafty. Saka ambidextrous. Nakita mo kayo na hulog niya na isa, yung previous point nila. It's just tipping it down to that zone number two. Tapos ngayon naman, kinargahan niya ng konting palo. And you gotta love the maturity also as well for Gia Makilang. Because when you're young, athletic, sometimes you think, like if you're a volleyball player, you think you're superwoman. You can just break down the wall, hatawin mo lang bawat palo. Uh -huh. But no, Gia Makilang is thinking before she spikes. Oh. Definitely yun yung nangyayari ngayon. Dahil nung first game niya, ganun yung ginagawa niya. Gusto lang niyang basagin ng basagin yung depensa. Pero, syempre mausay yung coach mo. Sasabihan ka na niya, oh, teka, relax. Gamitan mo ng konting experience yan. Gamitan mo ng konting diskarte. And that's what they call gulang. Aha, uh -huh. experience. Pero yun, hindi gulang yun. Karga lang talaga. Palong-palo yung palo. Si Gail Pascual is the type of player who has so much power and athleticism in her that she has to control it also. Yeah, efficient na nga maglaro to si Gail Pascual kasi last year, which was her uh, really best year as a Lady Blazer, she was really on overdrive every game, production-wise. Check out para kay Judiel Nitura. Experience defending back to back champions trailing for a majority of this first set. Mondoniedo to Nolasco. And Zap Nolasco gets another point. Good intention by Zap to. Hit the ball towards the way of the setter, mm -hmm. Estrandier. Oh, yun na. And Coach Jerry, he animated on the sideline after that service. Coach Jerry and animated. We don't see that a lot yeah, in a exactly, sentence. Exactly, exactly, exactly. <laughs> we do not see that a lot in a sentence. I would be shocked if I see an article or a story with Jerry Yee and animated in a sentence. As we see this cross-court hit by Pascual. And now this is the time that the Lady Blazer seems to go back to their DNA. Ano ba talaga sila? Kasi wala pang challenge sa kanila na didiinan sila. And the Lady Knights, sabi mga body language-wise, they are not afraid and they are not scared. Estrelier, Martin, Dorog was there, Mondoniedo, Estoque, Martin, blockers were there, and nobody picked it up from the Latran side. Dapat medyo parang uh, pagkaganyan yung mga situations. Communication, very vital. Apat kayong nakapalibot dun sa bola. Ah. Kaya nga ang paborito uh, word ng mga volleyball players, it's mine. Diba? The service error here giving the Lady Knights some uh, breathing room dahil nakahabol na nga Lady Blazers. Dorog. Mondoniedo to Estoque. Thirteen all. Four sophomores. In the lineup of Benil, Dorog, Estoque, Getigan, and Zam Nolasco. And an early entry for the Season 97 MVP, Micah Go. I like this. I yeah. like how Micah's being fielded in early. And if she can turn back the clock, things will be good for Benil. But right now, Dorog... A glimpse of the future right there. Good cut shot by 
Dorog. Good luck on the attack, trying to go on that. Yung manipis na manipis na cross court. Yun yung mga pinakamahirap na palo. Yung from uh, the right side to the left side, just grazing the net. Hirap depensa nun kasi yung momentum ng depensa papunta sa isang side. Drop ball by Estrelier does not work. Dorog again. Mondoniedo, back set, Pascual. Oh, good job, Lara Silva. That's what Lara May Silva does. Kaya nasayangan si Lara May. She was able to up that ball. But Makilang, a little bit off on the timing there. A miss hit. If you want to go put it over, make sure it will be a point. Hindi ko pwede kasi bibigay mo lang yung bola, naghihintay ka laban. Okay, pangalawa, yan, get confidence dun muna sa coverage. Okay, ma malayo ang bola, ano pwedeng gawin? It's a lahat, initiative and coverage. No, yung initiative, naghihintayan eh. Huwag masyado, masang basa. And you can tell that Coach O has had a busy week. Preparations for this match as his voice is a little bit raspy. First set pa lang tayo. Pero kasi pag ganito yung mga kalaban mo, ganitong kalibre na team, tapos medyo up and coming ka, kailangan talaga ide-detalye mo eh. Bawal ka magtapo ng bola, bawal ka ng mga alangani na palo. Kasi yung kahit anong additional sa... Para sa'yo, kailangan kunin mo ng kunin. Benilled on a run, they are up by three, heading into this technical timeout. Ito, sa Game On Podcast, we can absolutely talk about anything. We can have lengthy conversations, mm. meteor conversa uh, conversations. Uh, palitan and mas maraming chikahan. That's right. And I think it's only right because, I mean, first of all, Special thanks goes out to everybody who tunes in and watches the show. We have been fortunate enough to have been recognized by Trinity, by Anak TV. So I think it's only fitting that after we... Attorney Jonas Kapochan of San Beda University. Right next to him, I saw Sir Frank Gusi. Bumped into Bospin. Ayan, Sir Frank Gusi. Leto yan? Is there. Sandy. <laughs> All-star cast tayo pag Sandy. Father Vic is there. Oh. Commissioner Robert Milton. Kahlo is also there. Ledesma. Quick attack. Father Vic. Father Vic din eh, no? Tama yeah. naka walang caller kasi Father Vic. Eh. Your coach. Coach Tak. So, in the build-up to this match, I was asking several people, or our colleagues also, uh -huh. and majority of uh, them told me that if Letran were to compete with Benil, the main concern would be blocking. Yeah, dahil paulit ulit ako nito don parang sirang plaka. Pero kasi ang advantage ng Benil, malakas silang pumalo. They have very capable attackers on the wings, and they have two ladies na matangkad sa gitna, and they're they have a very tall setter. So yun talaga. You, you have to compete on the net game. Which ginagawa ngayon dito ng Letran. Makilang. Mahilig siya dun, no? Yung mga cross-court hits na I think in that's between. Her, oh, that's her game, you know? I think that's her best attack, actually. Oh, yung cross-court na cross manipis. Court. And when she gets ahead of steam, uh -huh. when she gets a clear runway, hard to stop. Ito na yung mga next generation na napanood si Cici Rondino. Kasi ganyan si Cici when she was still in college. Yeah, actually, first match pa lang that I covered watching Gia, I said, she reminds me of a younger, Cici no? Rondino. A younger. Yeah. Pero grabe mag-foundation yun eh. Ay, iba yun. Yun ang, yun ang kailangan nila. <laughs> Yun ang sikreto nun. Athlete na, tapos mahilig magpakondisyon. Interesting substitution here by Coach O. He, he's trying to strengthen the floor defense because we know Lea Rizel Tapang is also good as a floor defender. Very good receiver, receiver and digger. 
And she was last season's second best scorer as well para sa Letran. 10.3 points per match. But right now, Benil is just humming. 2.5 ba? Pagpunta dito sa'yo pa rin yan ah. Ikaw dito sa ito ah. Sa ito. Galing dito eh. Ha? Tapos too overwhelmed. You're too overwhelmed. Pagpasok mo sa loob, excited. Sobrang excited. So yung ginagawa, minamadali. Hindi pwede eh. We have to be patient. Ang haba pa ng volleyball, ang haba pa ng game. Pag pinalo mo ba ng malakas, tapos na volleyball, tapos na game, hindi pa. Pag hindi ba tayo nakadepensa, tapos na game, hindi pa. Ay, narapang to make it for tayo. Isa, isa lang, isa, isa lang. Sir Peter Kaikov, Arellano University, Mancom Rep. Father Vic Calvo. All smiles si Father Vic. Ganda ng tindig ng programa nila ngayon. Sunod-sunod. Oh, look at uh, this good-looking man. Oh, look at you. <laughs> priming up your coach. <laughs> Dax Castellano. With, with his uh, buttoned-up shirt. but All the way to the top. Oh, <laughs> gee, ang makilang. Again. And a powerful attack. I, more than anything, it's the, the joy that she exudes when she plays she volleyball. She enjoys playing. You love playing with... Uh, Teammates like that yeah, she has elevates a, the mood. She has a smile that lights up her teammates. Wow. Oh, gusto mo wow ka dun, ah. Ayun, oh, gusto mong uh, binubunot mo from your vocabulary. We all need those kinds of smiles oh, exactly. every now and then. Exactly. Estrelier will toss it up. And here's Gia again. Nolasco popping it up. Pascual. Silva to her beach volleyball partner. Makilang. And Dorov with a smart play. Ito yung nagiging profile ngayon ni Jessa Dorov. Very high efficiency player. She can hit, but on her third, I think it's her third year na ngayon playing with the squad. It's her second year. So nakikita mo na hindi niya pinapwersa. Percentage siya. Kasi she's not the hardest hitter, but she knows how to hit. But talking about hardest hitters. You can see Makilang has been uh, on a roll here. High work rate for Gia Makilang. And again, challenging the towers up front. The 20-year-old from Takbilaran City, Bohol. A little help from the net. Micah Go was there. Gail mm. Pascual! And that to me is the hardest Pascual spike to stop. Off of the combination. See the swing? Rolling, See the motion? Rolling thunder. Pagpalo. Wait a minute. Oh. Rolling thunder is when you pick oh. up a ball. Hindi. Eh, yung, yung, yung arrive, di ba? Parang kulog na. Nara, alam mong malakas. I'm thinking about something else. Yung high cue. Kasi yung libero doon, di ba? Rolling thunder is when... He calls, calls it. it. <laughs> Sorry, volleyball fans. Uh, ayan, ano tawag dyan? Ewan ko eh. Basta legal hit. Legal hit. Sini ayan, ano tawag dyan? Legal hit. Sinipa ni Judiel Nitura. It's a legal hit. Yes. As long as you don't is. hit it with your palm. And you know, when, when, when a volleyball player kicks the ball and somehow gets a point, <laughs> those end up in the awesome plays yes. or the top 10 plays anywhere in the world. The quote and quote. Our good friend, Bob G. Go! Mag a point! That's galing sa... Hit sa paa. I miss our friend. <laughs> Nobody can say it like him, though. Yeah, no? exactly. Six-point lead for Benil. Silva with the pass. Estrelier. Oh, good hit. They tried it kanina. Two plays previously. Yang power tip. Kay De La Cruz sa gitna. Now they get a point off it. Pero na, ang sang hero dun si De La Cruz, ha? New player on their squad yeah, this I, season. And I, uh, doing the dirty work. I feel like underrated nga sila, Ledesma and De La Cruz, oh. the middles. Because obviously, the spotlight is on Nidura and Makila. And that's right there. But as we say that, we jinx them. De La Cruz throws that one away. Silva, of course, is the defensive stalwart on this Letran side. Makilang with the pass. Estrelier to Tapang and Getigan. 
I, I feel like Gitigan's name needs to be mentioned more. Yeah. Al- alam mo, Anton, yung mga libero, masasabi mo lang na yung pangalan nila pag ineffective yung laro nila. Kasi ano yun eh, yun yung stabilizers ng team eh. Pag yung libero, lagi mong binabanggit yung pangalan. Ibig sabihin, may problema ka. This is the, this is the reason, they are the reasons kung bakit ang haba ng rally oh, ngayon. <laughs> but, every rally has to come to an end. No matter how long it takes. And sometimes, it's the setter who knows that the most. Cloan Mondoniedo finishing it with a surprise drop ball. Business as usual for the Benil Lady Blazers as they take set number one in 25 minutes of play.